Howdy, Mark Serbu, gun designer, gun nut. Well, today's the day. Got the rifle from Scott. Let's go ahead and take our first look at it. One thing that really jumps out at me here is how messed up this lower is. I mean, look at those sides, how bent they are in two different directions, you know, up and down and left and right. And the side plates are quarter inch thick solid steel. They are no joke. And those ears, they're just they're just gone, just sheared off like nothing. Never noticed these before. Well, it's hard to tell in Scott's pictures. Cap sheared the ears off somehow came down and hit here and gouged how on earth just like that and then it went and something made a mark here but I don't see anything on here that would have hit it there's nothing unless somehow I don't know. the breech cap is actually in really decent shape Amazing that something that was subjected to the forces this thing was and the damage it did and just coming out with hardly any damage at all, but and it's really tough alloy steel and it was heat treated to a pretty high level. There is a little damage on the inner edge there, which is kind of curious because this is definitely the hardest, strongest part of the whole gun. So what the heck hit it that's harder and stronger? I guess just Scott, right? You see the two places where it hit. That's what took the divots out of the side plates. And you can see here's where the the ears were. Right along there, you can see that vertical. That forward pivot pin is really strong. Sheared like nothing. And we'll take a good look at the barrel threads. And of course you can see the brass is still in there. Not a lot to be told from the brass. Obviously we had a case head separation and it separated where they normally do. A little over half inch from the end. Okay, who knows what that puppy is. I'm sure any of you guys have been in the army and had to deal with the 50 cal machine gun, the Ma Deuce. You've had to deal with one at one time or another. Normally you, uh, you just kind of chamber that like a regular round, but since we don't have a T-slot to grab onto that, I'm just gonna knock it out with a rod from the muzzle end. And it's hard to tell if that's, uh, it almost looks like that was a normal crimp, but it's really hard to tell if that's just something that the chamber put on it or if that's what happens when the crimp gets flattened out. And speaking of the rounds, it looks like I could have been wrong. These, uh, these look legitimate, except the crimp is still wrong. And I, I've got somebody who's a slap expert checking for me because these are, they are a very slight crimp. They're what's called a taper crimp. Um, but I've never seen that done on a slap round. So... I'm uh, still waiting to hear on that, but uh, everything else looks in order. Uh, it's got the right head stamps and everything. Now, Scott did mention that he had a round that had a loose projectile, and I don't know if it was the round, but obviously these aren't like that, so you know, who knows what the heck the story was on that one. Well, thanks for watching, folks. I just wanted to give you a quick look at what I can see here, give you some high-resolution videos and pictures. Obviously, we've got analysis to do, and uh, this is just the start, you know, having this thing in our hands. And in the meantime, I'm working on another video to, to clear up the rumors that my last two videos caused. <laughs> Gotta love the internet.